What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to set up buoyancy for an actor, for example a bot. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we will need is of course our boat model, or whatever you're trying to make float. In my case I am going to be using this Sketchfab free model, so I'll be linking in the description just in case you want to grab it. And then what we will need is the water plugin, so you can just go to edit, plugin search for water and then enable it and then you can just drag it into your level and you know make sure that things will work uh, i do have it thrown on that so if you want to check it out on how to make an island and so on and i cover how to set up a water body ocean now very important in the water body, a body ocean for this to work you're gonna go down and in collision presets change it from all to block to all overlap okay this is very important Okay, so now with that said, it is time to start to create our blueprint that will be of the object that we want to float. Right click, blueprint class, and in my case, it's going to be choosing an actor because it will just be there in the level. But of course, if you want to control it in the future, you can select the pawn actor. But in my case, it's going to select a normal actor, BP underscore boat. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a static mesh, which of course will be the boat itself. So let me add the boat over here and let me just rotate this around 90 degrees because it's looking in the incorrect way and now very important we have to put this static mesh as the root okay this is very important because if not things will be separated and we want the whole static mesh to be the root okay so with now that said let's go and turn on simulate physics because it's how we will enable all of the physics for this actor so now can you just drag it, move it up. Okay, so very important for the buoyancy to work, which will, of course, we don't have anything to, to set it to, you know, uh, float. But in the future, when we do, make sure that the boat is slightly above the water surface, because if it starts at the water level, it will not float. Anyway, so now if I simulate, you can see my water just, my boat, the boat, sorry, just goes and through the whole ocean, just, you know, <laughs> right, falls. So we have to add a specific component which will be of course the buoyancy okay so in here we have different options again different parameters about you know how much will float the mass the velocity all that stuff but what we are interested on is on the pontoons okay and these are the specific points where the boat will float so in this case we're going to be setting four which will be across the four corners of our boat it's basically a way of turning, uh, telling the component which are the perimeters of our boat and the points that we want to float. So what we need to do is add an arrow. Okay, this is a quick way of just putting something to that will be invisible when we play the game, but to see where we want to place it. So in this case, let's name this pass one as of position one. And I am going to put it right at the beginning of the boat. The rotation is really not necessary but I'm gonna re rotate it so it's easier to manage anyway so in my case I am going to put this first one over around here okay and then I'm going to hold out uh, if it lets me okay I can't hold out so you just go ahead and control D to duplicate it and then move it across in this case I can just change it to be just instead of minus 40 at 40 and now I can just go ahead and duplicate this too so now we have uh, the three and four you just move it into the back now it's, it's moving across all axis so let me just put it separately so let me move three until the end okay and then four also until the end so now we'll have this uh position as you can see okay and these are the points that we want our boat to float okay so with this one this one this one this one so now what we have to do is go to buoyancy and add four points. So let's do go and just, you know, one by one. So let's add the first one, okay? We don't need to put a center socket, we just want to put the location. So a quick way is to go and select the first position, go to the location transform, you know, values, right click and just press copy. Or you can also use, you can see hold shift and press the right mouse button. So just hold shift, press the right mouse button, go to buoyancy and then right click and paste or uh, press shift and then the left mouse button and we'll paste it which is faster so let's close it go to the next one all right so this will be for the second position copy and 
paste it. Now let's do the same with the third one. Go ahead and just copy and paste. And now, last but not least, it will be with the fourth one. Copy and paste. So now all of the points will be set up. So if I were now to go ahead and press simulate, as you can see, it will go ahead and get forced and then eventually go up and float. Now it is doing weird stuff because of, you know, <laughs> many things, right? It's not being able to uh, position it correctly. And that's really playing with also the positions, but also a bit of the damp and so on, right? I have also used, you know, get rid of the waves so you can see a bit better. Um, but now if I, you know, simulate, you can see that the boat will be just go ahead and floating. Now there's some weird um, behavior going on and it's mainly due to like the buoyancy settings and so on. There's, there's like a lot of, um, let's say, forces on each point. We can just maybe increase this to be at around 30. So the arrows will be like upper. So the boat will be a bit more on the water, so it will look a bit nicer as you can see. So that's pretty much how you can set up your boat to basically float on water. If you found it so helpful or real shit, you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. With lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so make sure to go ahead and check them out. The profiles will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members. Um, and join my Discord server. Now, yes, well said. Bye.